Hi everybody, I hope you're well and keeping safe and welcome if you are new here. My name's Tammy and I film all things motherhood, um, fashion, lifestyle, that sort of thing. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I will pop my profile right here for you and you can go give me a follow. This video is a long overdue. I filmed clips of this probably a month ago now. Actually, yeah, it is a month ago because Casey is actually now going to turn seven months old. And we started weaning pretty much exactly the same time a month ago. So you may probably guess that today's video is going to be a run through of all the first tastes that he had over the first two weeks. We're going to door door, let's get straight into it. By the way, if you can hear uh, my family downstairs, Adam is off for the day and he's got the kids. So if you hear noise from downstairs, that is them. So probably about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, Casey started to watch us eat and he really wanted to grab what we were eating. So from that, I sort of gathered that he was probably ready to start weaning and um, he was sitting up, so that wasn't a problem. And yeah, he was following everything that we were doing. So um, I felt like it was our time to try and get him to start food. And yeah, it's exciting. I obviously try to do this with Isla. If you don't know, Isla is my eight year old daughter and she is diagnosed autistic. So, um, we had a very very different journey when it came to weaning with Isla. When that happened it was really really difficult. This entire journey is completely different for me and yeah I was really really excited to see how Casey reacted to food and um, whether he enjoyed it or disliked it. So yeah it was something that we were really really looking forward to and I'm pleased to say that it is going really really well. So we decided to do a combination of um, spoon fed and baby led weaning. Something that I really, really wanted to try and I'm pleased to say that it is going really, really well. Um, but it's not something that we are set on following. We're not set on doing specifically one thing, especially with baby led weaning. Casey really likes to hold his own spoon as well. So I knew that even if we did try spoon fed he would want to have a go himself and that is exactly what I was hoping he would try and do. Um, so yeah, it's it's going really, really well. So the first couple of days I actually didn't film clips because after I think the first two days I decided that this was definitely something that we should film a video about. And yeah, so the first two days we did avocado and broccoli. So avocado went okay. I think he doesn't really like the texture of it very much. If it's got um, the skin on, and of, of course we um, wash wash the avocado and then cut it into segments, and then he, it's easier for him to hold. But if we give him a slice of avocado, understandably it slips out of his fingers because they're tiny and he squeezes really, really hard. Um, so yeah, he's not keen on that. He doesn't mind avocado when it's got the skin on, but I think that's also because he likes the texture of the skin. <laughs> Next we went in with broccoli and with this I did a combination of baby led weaning and spoon fed. Um, I gave him a little tree of broccoli that he could hold and then he could just munch on that. And then I also did pureed broccoli. Um, so what we use for pureeing is a tiny baby blender. Now you can obviously use a normal blender, that's absolutely fine, we were just gifted that um, from a family member so it's easier for us to use that and also it's tiny so it's easy to just wash up really really quickly whereas with a huge blender that you would have um, or a food mixer it's a lot of effort to just wash that up so um, we find that a baby blender is perfect for us and that is what we used with the broccoli and that was great I think I added a little bit too much water the first time around so it was quite runny but he really, really liked it, which I was surprised that I didn't think that he would like broccoli. But to this day, he is a big fan. So then we went in with the sweet potato uh, the following day and he really, really liked that too. I think I cooked this in the oven. So I did a little um, sweet potato fries for him. I think I added a little bit of paprika, like a tiny, tiny bit, and he seemed to really like that as well. And once I cooked them in the oven, they were super, super soft, and I just cut the ends off. Because you know when you cook um, sweet potato fries, they sort of go really, really hard at the ends. So I cut those off, and um, when he was sucking on those to hold, um, 
just the inside was super super soft and he managed to get that in his mouth so yeah he was a big fan of that and i think i pureed some too so we had the sweet potato fries and then pureed sweet potato as well and he loved that and i think that obviously is because it is a little bit sweeter and he was a big fan next we went in with butternut squash and that was successful i think it wasn't cooked enough though so it was a little bit hard but he and he couldn't hold it very well so i decided to go in with pureed butternut squash and that worked loads better um and he did really like that too um a trick that i actually have with butternut squash because obviously it's really difficult to cut i stick it in the oven for half an hour maybe it's super super soft and you can cut through it and get rid of the seeds inside really easily and then you can either go in to roast it even more or pop it in some water to boil. I think I made a sauce um, the other day with that. So I actually mix it up with loads of other veg. Um, red pepper and onion and carrot. And then made a little sauce with that. And that's something that he has with, pa with pasta now. And he really likes that. So carrots, mm, it wasn't that successful. I think I find carrots really difficult to gauge because they take forever to go soft so that again was another pureed one he could obviously suck on the boiled um bits of carrot and that was absolutely fine at this point he sort of really didn't know what to do with the food in his mouth still um he sort of just left it there um and it's taken up until recently i think probably last week for him to actually realize that he could chew things um, and it's absolutely fine for babies to chew with their gums they're really really hard if you haven't noticed um they're really really hard and tough so um when he has cucumber now especially he loves cucumber but you can hear it squeaking against his gums <laughs> and obviously because he's teething it's fairly obvious that's why he's doing it he quite likes it against his gums but they're very hard um so it's absolutely fine to give baby a slightly harder bit um in my opinion and that seems to help with his teeth then we tried some peas and that was successful peas you know just a standard um food but because they're really small and round that was not something that we were planning on giving him um as baby led so obviously i pureed those and he really really liked those too um yeah he was a big fan of those and then following that we went in with the parsnip and again just like with the carrot um i found it a little bit difficult to get it to boil to a nice um consistency so that was something that we also pureed and he was a big fan of that actually because obviously it is a little bit sweeter and he liked that too courgette was something that he really really liked i think this is because it's obviously a vegetable that um once you cook it it goes super soft so what i did with those is i popped those in the oven and i also stuck some in uh water i made little courgette sticks basically and um what i did with that was um boiled them and stuck them in the oven just to see which one sort of worked a little bit better with the ones from the oven obviously the ends went really hard again and crispy so i cut those off um and that seemed to work really well and you can keep the skin on there as well um for those and they he sort of just sucks on them and the, the middle part comes off and he also did was puree some cabbage and that was really successful too he really really liked that um i think generally to be honest casey is a big fan of veg any veg anything that he can eat to be honest he really really likes so cabbage was really really good and again that was just spoon fed um to him um i think i stuck it in the blender yeah i stuck it in the blender and that didn't take very long at all to um blend and get to a nice consistency um i should probably mention as well that a lot of these vegetables i just buy frozen packs of um it is obviously very nice to have fresh veg in the house and that is something that we do regularly get too but especially because we're weaning a baby um it's much easier for us to have packs of frozen veg and we just stick those in the fridge next is aubergine and this was a turning point for us basically so i cooked the aubergine and it was absolutely fine um it came off the skin really really nicely and he absolutely loved it 
that was great i was so so pleased because aubergine is something that i'm not a big fan of and i really really wanted to make sure that casey tried foods that we specifically didn't like because i didn't want him to be fussy with his food just because we were and um yeah that was great he really really liked it and probably about five ten minutes after he finished his lunch um it actually started to he's he actually started to get a rash around his mouth and then he started to get one on his neck um and i completely freaked out i was so so worried so we called 111 said that it could probably be a contact reaction and um i think i posted it on instagram and a lot of people said it probably was because the same thing can happen with um tomatoes and i think they're from a specific family of vegetables and yeah it just completely made him rush out and we still haven't tried it again yet but i'm planning on doing that um but that is the only reaction that we've recently really had um everything else has been absolutely fine but it's a shame because he really really did like aubergine so we are going to try it again probably in the next two weeks maybe mix it up with something else maybe make him a little um ratatouille or something um but yeah he really really liked that and it was a su success despite the fact that he had a little contact reaction then we went in with potato obviously who doesn't love potato we just mashed it like normal um with this i actually added a tiny bit of his formula and a little little bit of butter um and that was absolutely fine and he really liked that too so that's nice i'm gonna make him a mini potato so a tiny bit of tuna and then probably like a little bit of cheese and then some mashed potato and hopefully he'll really like that too then we went in with the cauliflower and just like the broccoli that was absolutely fine he was a really really big fan of that i think i didn't give him a little tree of cauliflower i just pureed that and gave it to him so towards the end of the two weeks we actually stopped um giving him just one bit of veg i think he was wanting a little bit more so we started to mix a couple of bits up i was a big fan of those foods and i would say it was successful um we've obviously started to introduce a couple more things into his diet and he really really likes those too um there hasn't been there hasn't really been any instance where he's refused food which is great what i have noticed actually is that his um formula intake has reduced and i did have a google of this and spoke to my um fake nct group on whatsapp and the same thing is happening with their babies and i think just because he's obviously eating a lot more um his formula intake has reduced but he does have a full bottle in the morning and a full bottle at bedtime and that's absolutely fine those two are the only ones that i'm really concerned about um but during the week or during the day um he has a slightly less amount of formula that i have learned from that though is that he should have the bottle first because that is the most important part um of his diet because at the moment for me personally food is fun until one so if he doesn't get as much food at the moment then it's not really a big thing for us he's exploring the foods that he's trying at the moment and that is the main thing for us right now so currently we're going through the allergens and the meats and right now casey has tried i've got it written down here um salmon whitefish and chicken so we still need to try a tiny bit of tuna and obviously we'll be giving him the tiniest bit because of the mercury content of tuna by the way this is just stuff that i've googled and seen through other mums so if some of the information you're not sure on please give it a google because i'm not an expert this is uh, definitely not an expert so please take what i say with a pinch of salt in terms of textures and chewing like i said it's only taken him up until recently to realize that he can chew the food and swallow it that way he doesn't just need to sit on his tongue because that was what was happening beforehand and i must say for me i find that perfectly normal that's absolutely fine for him to do that because he doesn't know the texture of food if, if it's if it's lumpy or if it's smooth he still his mouth is still trying to get used to that um, texture so it's absolutely fine if that is the case um, in your baby 
I really wanted to make sure that he tried different textures so whenever I was pureeing his food I was making sure that it may be smooth or maybe slightly lumpy now I know a lot of books say that um, things should be smooth but because we're doing baby led weaning obviously the food that he's eating isn't going to be super smooth so um, I felt like at that point it was probably um, a good thing for us to introduce slightly more textured foods and that was absolutely fine but every single time that we um, gave him a bit of food and when we introduced weaning um, he did gag and I want to say that this is completely normal so we've had a couple of close encounters but they've been absolutely fine not comfortable with seeing your child gag or choke then baby led weaning probably isn't for you however there is a saying that says loud and red let them go ahead so coughing red face watery eyes that is just gagging choking quiet and blue they need you so we have gone through first aid over and over and over again just to make sure we know exactly what to do if casey chokes um so we are completely aware of what we need to do but the main thing is that we need to stay calm if both of us panic when we're feeding him that is not going to help anybody um but we haven't had a situation where something serious has happened obviously um he gags a lot and that is absolutely fine with us um because he's just exploring the food and with him gagging that is his body expelling the food and without fail every single time if a bit is too big and he is gagged the food has come straight out of his mouth now this may be different with other babies but luckily Casey does that so um it's been absolutely fine and I just want to reiterate that um if you're worried about um doing baby load weaning and choking and gagging please remember that saying <laughs> because it has really helped us loud and red let them go ahead choking quiet and blue they need you in terms of fruit we decided to try fruit after the vegetables because I wanted him to get used to the taste of savoury food rather than sweet food beforehand because then I thought it would be a little bit difficult to sort of introduce those vegetables into his diet that we have currently tried are uh, mango love that he likes having little fingers of mango and he sucks on it and I think because it's cold he it's really nice on his gums as well pineapple strawberries blueberries and raspberries so strawberries blueberries and raspberries we use regularly in his breakfasts and then um cantaloupe melon cantaloupe melon apple lemon which he really liked weirdly and then little slices of orange and obviously banana so again like i said with the vegetables we have frozen bags of fruit that we use with him and then i just pop it in water to pop it in some cold water to thaw and then i just use that in his breakfasts and that's absolutely fine and my very good friend lucy in the bump actually shared a post this morning on her instagram um, of banana pouches from aldi and pouches i think are so brilliant and i know that aldi are really really good with stuff like that um, especially when you're on the go and that is something that I, we are definitely going to be doing a lot more of because we're hoping to get out a little bit more so um, I really need to stock up on pouches that's something that I definitely need to do we've got a couple in the fridge at the moment which we use as pudding for him after he's had his lunch and his dinner and he loves those so I think they're apple and pear and then another one is peach and mango and he loves those they're, they're great and i think that those ones are from sainsbury's but like lucy i'm definitely going to go to aldi and get some of the banana pouches because that will be brilliant for breakfast so in terms of allergens right so like i said with the aubergine we had an issue with contact reaction um, that is just contact reaction. If you want more information on contact reaction and then actual full-blown allergies um, I would have a look at sr underscore nutrition on Instagram or solid starts on Instagram as well. So solid starts They haven't paid me to say anything about this by the way um, They are brilliant. So this is the profile And I would highly recommend solid starts especially if you don't know how to cut your baby's food um when they're starting out with baby led weaning so the website is solidstarts.com and what you do is basically so for example you search for whatever food that you need um and 
they have basically created a hub i've posted this on my instagram because it is a marketer's dream if you're like me a hub of information that is super helpful to you is great <laughs> so the marketer in me is very very excited about this so they basically go through every vegetable every fruit every allergen that you could possibly think of um, this one is carrots so they just go through when can babies eat carrots and then they have little videos of babies eating the eating the vegetables um, at different ages so you can see their reactions to the food and how they're holding the food and the type of cuts that they've used to give to the baby um, and then are carrots healthy for babies the carrots are choking hazard are carrots a common allergen and how can you prepare the food for the baby and then they have these cute little diagrams how to make the carrots safer for babies so for six months um, plus it's cooked halves or grated for nine months plus cooked sticks or diced and then 18 months raw quartered and then it goes all the way around like a little circle and it's just brilliant so in terms of allergens at the moment we have only tried out peanuts which were thankfully absolutely fine that was the one thing i was so nervous about trying and i think it's because people place so much importance on it i'm like that's completely normal because it is a really dangerous thing to have um especially if you're allergic to peanuts um but yeah i was really really worried about that and i literally gave him the tiniest amount of toast with the peanut butter and yeah it was absolutely fine thank god um eggs which were fine wheat that was fine fish obviously it's fine because he's having salmon white fish and tuna and that's fine grains um that's fine too so i just have a little pouch of microwavable rice with quinoa and then grains and rice that he has mixed with some of his food um that i make into little balls and he's absolutely fine with that as well I thought I would talk you through a couple of the essentials that I thought were really really important at the beginning of our weaning journey that I used was Ella's Kitchen first foods book um at the moment I'm not really using this very much and if I am I'm sort of just using it for inspiration especially for this section smoothly does it and then the king on texture section which they've got a couple more different um recipes in which we'll definitely be trying a lot more of this i found really really helpful for the very first taste section so here they go through the allergy essentials and then they've got a tiny table of all the vegetables that you can try in the first two weeks so if you want to go ahead and screenshot that please do and then they've also got loads and loads of different ways that you can cook the first taste foods and i found that so helpful i'm literally i was referring back to it constantly as well as the solid starts website um and i really really like really really rate this i haven't actually tried any of the other books for baby weaning um because this one has been brilliant for us and in terms of other utensils i would highly recommend when to get the little spoons that basically indicate where the food is too hot and i found them so great at the moment we don't use them because casey's using spoons that are slightly harder for him um and that he can hold and chew on basically um still made of silicon but those spoons are brilliant and you can just grab them on amazon um i will link them down below for you if you're interested in getting some for both the kids now we have moved on to silicon plates and bowls and that is mainly because a they look nicer and they all last a lot longer isla has always had little plastic plates and bowls we've got rid of those now especially because we're getting a new kitchen um we decided to buy and invest in a couple more nice looking uh crockery for the children so the ones that we have gone for are the lywood plates and little bowls they obviously they're sold separately um and these come in a pack of four and this comes in a pack of two which is brilliant for the kids and yeah i think this one specifically is just like a little bear shape but yeah he likes those and they're really really sturdy and dishwasher safe and microwavable as well which is perfect because i'm constantly microwaving things for kids the full bibs i will stick a picture here for you because both of casey's bibs are in the wash at the moment um so yeah i will stick a picture here and they both basically just the cover-up bibs 
that you can clip at the back and then you stick their arms in them and they're brilliant because they cover all of him but for some reason Casey gets the food right down his neck so the top of his bodysuits and his t-shirts always stain with food so what I've been doing is basically popping a muslin like a smaller muslin underneath and then popping the bib on and that's been working absolutely fine because the muslin catches the food um, and then we also use the little um, silicon bibs that you can clip on and then it's got a little catch at the bottom to catch any food that he doesn't manage to get in his mouth those are brilliant so if you're interested in getting a couple of those i will link them down below for you so yeah that's it i really really hope that this video was helpful um, I will probably be doing a couple more videos in regards to food and weaning, probably stage two and stage three weaning and food combinations and recipes that I'm currently um, trying out with him. Um, because at the moment we are actually, we've started having the same foods, but obviously he, he eats first with no salt and then we do our meals with the same sort of recipe. And yeah, it's just brilliant. So if you want to see that sort of thing, I will definitely film some videos in regards to those. But yeah, if you're nervous about trying baby led weaning or spoon fed or combination, or you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to drop me a DM on Instagram or comment down below and I will get back to you. But yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.